a pleasure to have you with us. We got some reaction from China's foreign ministry spokesperson saying that China firmly opposes any country having nothing to do with the South China Sea issue getting involved in this dispute. What do you think of uh, China's reaction to this possible joint ASEAN U.S. statement in terms of disputes uh, in that area? Uh, not surprising, I, I think, uh, to put it that way. Uh, we have been aware of China's uh, position on this matter, but at the same time, uh, the fact of life is that the uh, issues in on the South China Sea needs uh, resolution in one way or the other. Uh, probably there is some discussion about whether this be done bilaterally or in another setting. But uh, Indonesia, through ASEAN, is uh, keen to ensure we have uh, conditions conducive uh, for talks, for negotiations to take place so that the various overlapping claims on the South China Sea can be resolved uh, by peaceful means. Uh, Minister Natanagawa, you know, we have a dispute taking place between China and Japan over the capture of this fishing boat captain in disputed waters between Japan and China. What does this development and this dispute uh, raise in terms of concerns for ASEAN uh, countries and in their own territorial dispute with China? Well, it, it reminds all of us that uh, we cannot take for granted the uh, relatively benign uh, atmosphere we've had for many decades now in the Asia-Pacific region uh, that has enabled our countries, all our countries, to develop economically and to pursue uh, prosperity. Uh, in other words, we must ensure that we continue to invest in various ways and means to, to allow for peaceful solutions of problems. And now we are having this latest episode between uh, China and Japan. Uh, we hope the two countries can find ways and means to solve the matter amicably. Uh, of course, countries in ASEAN, including Indonesia, would be keen to ensure, again, we have that uh, conditions conducive for such a peaceful resolution. We have no interest whatsoever to see our region uh, being troubled or being destabilized by uh, you know, episodes of this type. Mm. And, and Minister, uh, while you're in New York right now, we do have some disputes uh, over the Chinese currency, the valuing of the RMB, with a lot of the U.S. politicians and lawmakers saying it's, saying it's undervalued and it's hurting their economy. What's Indonesia's take on this? Now, I know this isn't your specialty, but uh, they see this as a break of international uh, promises that China has not met with. Uh, what's Indonesia's view on the yuan? Is it undervalued? Well, uh... <laughs> Well, obviously, you are quite correct. I'm, I'm not privy to the technical details about uh, how a currency is valued or, or overvalued or undervalued. But let me just take the, the bigger picture. Uh, we look at uh, China's rising economy, increasing promising uh, economies as being uh, offering a potential for all of us in the region and indeed beyond. I think all of us must try to find ways and means to be able to prosper uh, collectively, that the gain of one must not be at the loss of the other. And uh, whatever is the subject matter, whether it be currency valuations or trade or investment, I'm sure we can find ways and means to have a mutually a beneficial kind of outcome. That's certainly the kind of perspective that Indonesia will be taking uh, when we assume chairmanship of ASEAN uh, next year. And I will talk about the chairmanship of ASEAN next year very quickly. But uh, Minister Natalagawa, I want to talk to you about uh, U.S.-Indonesia relations because U.S. President uh, Barack Obama has twice canceled his trip uh, to Indonesia. And then President Cecilia Bamban Yono, Yono of Indonesia can't seem to make this uh, ASEAN-U.S. summit. Uh, some are seeing strains right now in the Indonesia-U.S. Uh, ties. What do you think? Um, no, actually, on the contrary. I have just returned from uh, Washington a couple of days ago. I had a very good meeting with Secretary Clinton. We have, uh, both our countries are resolved to develop and deepen our relationship, so-called comprehensive partnership. All is well and is, is getting even better. Uh, the fact that certain visits have yet to take place, I don't think is uh, impairing uh, our vision of pro uh, partnership in the future. Uh, as two democracies, Indonesia and the United States have a very strong relationship uh, bilaterally and within the region as well. So I'm not too worried about where we are. On the contrary, I'm very optimistic that we are heading into even deeper and wider relations between our two countries. N and as the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton tell you, just when exactly U.S. President Barack Obama will try to make his third trip to Indonesia? 
Uh, not just yet, uh, but you know, I'm not <laughs> going to let our relations be held hostage to the timing of the visit. Uh, we'll take it when it comes. Uh, meanwhile, we just do the, the, the business of developing and, and strengthening our bilateral relations. And whether it be on the economic area, political, security, strategic, cooperation and environment, uh, education, people to cope, people contact, all is uh, going well. And I'm very optimistic about the state of our bilateral relations. Minister Natalagawa, I want to thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for joining us from New thank York.